Okay. In seven days, the world will end. This I have foreseen. For 600 years, I've tried to pit powerful heroes against evil to save humankind. So far, I failed every attempt. Fortunately, my portal spell allows me to escape destruction. So you just keep sending people in and then, like, getting out of there right at the last second before you die? Great. Uh, travel back in time and try again and again and again. All right, great. The last group of adventurers managed to uncover a magical spell of permanency before their untimely demise. This is Kelpie Island. I've, uh, let's have a look around before we get started. Okay, let's get moving. We need to get to, uh, head to Quiet Forest in order to get to Kelp Harbor. Let's do it. So this is our attack range. This is their attack range. I don't know what this blue line is. That might be their aggro range. I don't know. So it's like an auto battler. Oh, that's like they use that charge. Seer, hero, your ultimate is ready. Click the portrait or press one. Okay. Oh, damn. Got him! Okay, got him. This looks like a place to buy some ham, I hope so. Okay, ultimate ready status, damage taken. Remaining armor, attack cooldown, ability cooldown, ultimate ready status. When your character glows, you can activate them, okay? Nothing I can do here for purchasing, it doesn't seem like. Is this a, is this a chest, a treasure chest cat or something? It's dangerous out there, let's bring that healer. Hello, healer. So should I put them behind you? All right, let's go. That was kidnapping. What? No. This time, let's figure out who the hero, what the heroes can do. Right-click a character portrait to learn more about them. This is the character sheet. Take a quick look at each tab. Each tab has extra info if you need it. Okay. Gloria prays for the death of her enemies. That's kind of fucked up, Gloria. I gotta tell you. What do you do? Not as much as touch as it is an outright stabbing. Yeah, okay. That's pretty metal, to be honest. Yeah, I, I guess. Gloria prays for healing and a good health of uh, one of her allies. Gloria prays for additional healing, restoring 20% of the party's maximum health. Ultimate uses knockback enemies away from allies. Okay. All right. This should be good. This is Blossom. Uh, on attack, do area of effect equal to thorns for each character with thorns. Blossom flings a pow flower into someone's face, triggering allergies. Wow. Harsh. Oh, we can actually activate, like, auto-activate uh, ultimates if we want. Long range, it's a flings a pile into somebody's place. Okay, target closest to uh, 16 to 24 damage, 5 second cooldown. 
Blossom blesses her most wounded ally with regenerative root growth. Okay. Ice Merelda chills out, encasing herself in ice and unleashing an ice storm around her. By shooting an icicle at her foes, Ice Merelda quickly breaks the ice. Wow. We only get one, though. Yes, we did in 2024, yeah. yeah if in February, correct, yeah. If you hover over a hero or enemy, you can see their range. Yeah. If an indicator is missing, the range is infinite. Place your characters strategically by dragging them. Okay. Evil Monk. Heretical Flare. Heretical Heal. Okay. Yeah, I'll just automatically activate that. Begin. Heal those allies. I guess they already were basically full. I feel like that ability activated, but it didn't do anything there. He's wearing a name tag that said, I am evil. Yeah, he was pretty plain about it, I feel like. <laughs> Left click at an hourglass to continue. Left click to make the time go faster, right click to make it go slower. Yeah, the music's not bad. So I think it's just like armor damage that they're taking. They're not even taking any damage, really. Got him. You're wrecked, you dingus. So this cat is dropping loot after the fight is concluded. Okay, drag items to your heroes to equip them. Uh, Seagull of Happiness. Extra damage, power, and power. Uh, attack damage, ability power, ultimate power. When any ally crit... When an ally crit, heal all allies for 1% of their maximum health. Uh, thorn shield. Four, plus 40 armor, plus 5 crit. Apply thorns that cause 10 to 50% of your max armor's retaliated damage with four, within 4 range. Attack the cat to get all the loot now, right? Every second, do 25% of ability power damage in area of effect within 2.5 range. There you go. There you go, you can have that. All right, let's go. Oh, we're going to the tavern. Let's fucking go. Let's get wasted. Oh, we're leaving. Well done, I can permanently upgrade the group by rebuilding the sacred shrine in this forest. Click the quiet forest again. Upgrade. You're all set, let's go ahead to the next area. You have some options now, I'll let you choose. Where do you wanna go? Uh. Fort Seaweeden. Protecting the town of Seaweed, and Dan is not welcome here. Dan? Who 
Who the fuck is Dan? Dan knows what Dan did. I, I, okay. Could build a lighthouse down there, apparently. Oh, let's go here. Let's go down there and build a lighthouse. What's your ultimate? Target the lowest health uh, for 76 96 damage on kill. She can be used again immediately if eight cooldown. Is that what yours is? Yeah. Target the furthest enemy and teleport behind them for cooldown. Pocket sand from the thief. All right, let's go. What the hell kind of a setup is this? Okay, I don't think that your ability should be auto used. We'll wait until that's like more better. -er. Let's get everybody healed up. All right, we got them. What's this? Your new guy looks like he's about to start mewing. I think he already is. Blood soaked shiv on attack, apply 25% of ability power, bleed uh, for five seconds. You're, you're giving me this? Yeah, I am. Bombastic Side Eye. Plus five attack damage on attack. Apply 10% of attack power as poison. All right, let's go. Uh, Celestine flails around, hitting her opponents hard. What's your ultimate? Rushes to her most wounded ally and takes their place. Hmm. Okay. I don't think we want that one uh, automatic. That one's like uh, something that we can use in an emergency. This is pretty fun. Uh, rather large helmet. Plus 20 armor. On kill, you have a 50% chance to repair your armor with 100% of your attack power. Alright, there you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. 
to the tavern. We did it. Oh no, there's a stupid rock in the way. We'll need to walk around it. See if there's something to upgrade before you leave. Yeah. Go to the lighthouse. We did, did we unlock anything? No. So I thought, I thought we leveled up on somebody. Guess not. There's a googly-eyed rock over there. I feel like every time we go into a town, we fight. Uh, oh no, I guess we're high hiring units here. What do we got? Each wisp zipped towards an enemy, de detonating on impact. Rosa fires a missile which flies erratically. When it lands, a wisp is created. Sure. Gallant Knight strikes the opponent in the face with his sword. Blinds the strongest foe. Gallant Knight's magnetic presence draws his enemies ever closer to him. Now yeah, we could do like a tank. Auto trigger that knight ability, I guess. Uh, fuck off, burbs. Trading places with our weakest units. It's a little loud on these special effects, I think. Oh, you guys look pretty dead. Let's see, what do we got here? Plus 40 armor, plus 15 crit. On ability, uh, add 50% of your armor to your next given damage. Uh, what's the armor that you have? Every second, do 25% of the ability's power damage in the area of effect. Mm. Absolutely dazzling. Everybody's got a piece of equipment. I don't know what to do with this. I guess we'll just leave it. Okay, it just gets turned into gold. What do we got for us, cat? Oh, I thought you were going to add more money. Okay, extra ability power, extra move speed. I don't have money for anything else. All right, let's go. How many slots do I have for units? Looks like I'm full. Yeah, I haven't ever played Despot's game, I don't think. All right, let's go. Fucking get on, boys. Fucking 
Okay. So I don't know, it doesn't look like they're like actually losing health here. And I'm kind of confused on like what's health and what's not. Like I thought that it said like in the character, like in the tutorial that like this bar on the left was HP, but it's actually like their profile. Yeah, these guys are kicking our ass. This guy's about to die. Just barely alive. Just barely. Okay, that was a little brutal. But we got through it. Zero to 15 attack damage on attack, 10% chance to blind an enemy. I don't think that's better than anything we got. All right, we made it. I can see the docks over there. If we buy a boat there, we can travel to the mainland. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. We'll unlock the merchant's feature. We need more wood. Seems like it'd be a great game for the Steam Deck. Very 30-minute bus ride kind of vibes. Yeah, yeah. You see a lone scarecrow sitting in a field wearing a strange medallion. It's surrounded by crows, almost shrouding it. You can almost feel it looking at you. In front of it, there is a cup. Feed the crows. Steal the medallion. Party-wide, take 50% health damage. Feed the crows free. Receive 100 gold. Yeah, let's do that. Give me their money. Right, let's go. Okay. Ah, oh, this fucking crow's messing with my healer, man. Can you, can you help here? No. I don't think so. Remember, keep everybody healed. Ice chick, I need you to freeze these fucking units, please. Get your shit together, ice chick. Alright, we did it. What's in the box? Cape of Fire, plus three crit every second. Do 15% of attack, power, damage, area of effect within three range. Or Flesh Suit. Flesh Suit. Okay. 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 Dolphin! Oh my god, it's Dolphin Chemists! Thank you so very much for the 101 months. I really appreciate it. How are you feeling, Dolphin? I know you've been feeling like poop. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit better. Don't leave any love lying around. Make sure you pick it up and take it with you, pretty please. Pretty please. I don't think I want either of these. We're just going to turn that into money, I guess. Okay, what's this? Uh, 
Fernandez declared the ground his enemy, slamming it and stunning everyone with his folly. Uh, okay. I kind of want to maybe. I think I might. I might be too tanky. I don't know. Uh, maybe we need. I feel like we might need more DPS. So I feel like this guy might be good to have. I'm garbage. I'm throwing you in the trash, Mace Chick. Alright, let's go. Gotta get in there with that our strategy is what we need to do. And God damn these crows. These crows gotta be attacking my healers. You can just imagine someone belly flopping out of the shield like, take this you stupid ground. And then, and then the other party would be like, wow, that was really effective versus the enemies. I'm surprised. And they'd be like, what enemies? Fuck the ground. I fucking hate that guy. Oh, here we go. Plus 15 ultimate power on kill. Target all enemies. Deal 20% of ultimate power as damage. Mighty stat stick. Extra damage. Ability power. Ultimate power. Health minus one second on the attack cooldown. Shit. Alright, let's put that on you. Uh, what does this do? Portable smithy. Repair over time. 2% of armor per second. Every second do 10% of an ability's power damage on area of effect within two range. Uh, I don't know if that's great. Maybe that's good on, like, you. What's the piece of, uh, gear that you have? Maybe give you this armor. Try to have you not die. Uh, okay. I guess we're good. This character has nothing equipped. Okay, a long range target closest 1624 damage. Okay, that's the, uh, that's like the druid thing. All right, I think we're good. Go, go, go.
Okay, we'll heal. I want... If I'm going to use her fancy ability, I want her to be closer to units. Because right now she's just kind of like out here on her own. These guys are like doing that heretical heal on their own units, so it's annoying. You guys gonna get them guys or what? What are you doing out here? What are you, what are you doing out here? get to where we do the boat thing. 5% chance to become invulnerable for 3 seconds. Let's try that on... That's common. Ah, fuck it. Ah, don't even worry about it. Alright, everybody in the bar! Go, go! Finally, we're here. Now we can really start our adventure. Buy the upgrade to get a boat. Okay. Let's leave the tutorial islands. Get the fuck out of here. That night, a storm raged. In the, in the morning, our heroes had vanished, claimed by its fury. Fortunately, my power is now stretched to the mainland. It's time to find new heroes and press on. Okay. All right. Go, go right. Ripped all those bozos. What a bunch of bozos. Uh... How's it going, Barkley? What's up, Commoner? How are you doing today? Are we uh, softlocked here? What's going on? Like pressing escape, I can hear something happening in game. I drowned, Billy. Oh, okay. All right, fair enough. Well, I guess I'm going to call the demo there. Unfortunate that we had that uh, lock up, but uh, so it goes. We played it for 30 minutes. You drowned. Or we drowned. Shit. Auto battler. This game is now six feet under. They say it's a semi auto battler. I guess because you can technically activate the abilities yourself. I don't know how much of an impact that stuff really has. I got the impression that that was the end of the demo and it just didn't get coded to send you back to the title screen. I I don't think so because I'm pretty sure that I could have skipped the tutorial in the demo. So I think I, but I still feel like I got the idea of the game doing the, doing the tutorial. Um... Uh, with roguelite elements, I guess. Um. Move 
from location to location, hire new heroes, get new gear. Not too bad. I think it's a solid three for me. Um, it's just good. Like it's not like the the auto battler stuff isn't isn't really my jam. I have had a couple that I've liked. Um, like, and this is this is like fine, but I, I don't know how often this is going to be a thing for me. Maybe we would play this again on stream, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'd recommend checking that out if you like auto battlers. I think it seems like a pretty decent one. Like, I definitely like a little bit more engagement in my auto battler stuff. Like, I really like that one where you have tie a tile of units and then you like move them into other tiles and then they all fight but you like organize the way that the tile is or uh, is like set up and stuff i like that kind of agency um uh, a bit better but uh but yeah like i said that's that's fine like sears game it seems good it's just like not exactly like my taste of auto battler <laughs> 